Hey guys, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to check in with you guys. It is officially week two of the Whole30. It's actually going a lot better than I expected. I have not really been getting a lot of cravings um, for the foods that I had to eliminate, which are like dairy and grains and legumes and alcohol. It's actually been fine. The hardest part I would say has been breakfast. I really wanted to try out two breakfast options that I had never had before and that was chia seed pudding and sweet potato mash. You guys, I really wanted to like chia pudding. I heard a lot of great things from a lot of people and it was just not for me at all. I hated it. Like it was the texture, the taste, it just, mm -mm, it was a no. And then the sweet potato mash, uh, it wasn't terrible but it wasn't great. Um, I imagine if I ate baby food, that would be what it would taste like. So some of my Instagram followers knew that I was struggling with breakfast for Whole30, and one of them reached out to me and actually recommended that I just cook like some breakfast potatoes. I have sweet potatoes that I cut up and roasted. Um, I have some chicken, some peppers, and some onions. I'm actually really excited about this. It looks really good. I'm so happy because now I'm adding some more protein in there with the chicken. I felt like I was super low on my protein intake because I had to eliminate all of the dairy that I used to eat, but the chicken definitely helped. So I just got back from the gym a few minutes ago. I'm about to have lunch, which is pretty much the usual that you guys see from me. Ground turkey, veggies. Yeah, I'm such a simple gal, you know? At least when it comes to eating. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's now later in the day, and since I had my lunch, I've had two snacks. Um, the first one uh, is one of my favorites, which is a Honeycrisp apple with almond butter. I use my food scale to portion out the almond butter because I just wanna make sure it's just a single serving size and I don't go too overboard. And then I ended up having another Lara bar because they are just so darn good. I had the cashew cookie one. It only has two ingredients, which is dates and cashews, but it's really good. I've noticed since I started Whole30, like I'm such a snacker. I've said that in many videos, like I snack majority of the day. Like I'll have my two main meals, lunch and dinner, but everything else is like really snacky. I thought it was gonna be so hard just like eliminating my popcorn, my rice cakes, my string cheese, my Greek yogurt, like, you know, snacks on snacks, right? But the only snacks that I've been having are like my apples with almond butter and Lara bars. Oh, and pistachio nuts. I got to keep my pistachio nuts. And it's weird because I don't actually crave a bunch of snacks like I used to when I was eating them so regularly. So maybe that's the benefit of Whole30? I don't know. And since I've been keeping it 100 with you guys, doing the Whole30 has definitely helped me um, as I'm like emotionally coping with my boyfriend leaving for Africa. Like I probably would have used this as a great excuse to like eat some crap or go out to eat or you know something to make myself feel better but I've been sticking to Whole30 and sticking to my you know regularly planned foods and it's been fine and I'm, I'm glad that I'm not like going overboard and I'm just like staying focused on it and it just helps to have something like this to be focused on you know but yeah that's it guys I'm gonna have my dinner in a little bit which as you already know is ground turkey and vegetables so yeah, I guess this turned into a little what I eat in a day video, Whole30 edition. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I know some of you also hit the notification bell. If you haven't done that, go ahead and hit that too. <laughs> I also want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my YouTube subscribers and Instagram followers that have like reached out to me, sending your love and your best wishes. No, it's, it's just not working. <laughs> Sending your love and your best wishes for Sanchez and for our relationship. You know, we appreciate it a lot and I definitely appreciate it. Um, all of the love and support just means everything. So thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.